where it's like people were saying like it's dangerous to have like somebody that people idolize who now they feel is has a divinity applied to them. Not that Trump, the people think Trump is Jesus. He's immortal. It's but scary, like, they, bro. But it's like, scary. But the association that somebody he was chosen like by God. That, yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah. They're like, see, like God ordained this guy. You know, in such a religious country, it yeah, such a religious is, party. Yeah, that is pretty scary to have. What's up, you guys? And we'll go back to school, but don't worry, everything is cool. I'm your host, Jalissa, and of course, I am here with the boys, Steve and Brennan. Say what's up, you guys. What's, what's up? up? And how y'all doing today? I, I am, am doing, doing pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I got shocking news for me. Uh, it says Clippers are sending Russell Westbrook second round swap. Uh, to the Jazz in a trade, <laughs> uh, Westbrook is obligated to agree on a contract uh, play out and the only way for him to join the Nuggets. Uh, it's not that crazy. But in more important news, come on, guys, we changed the set. We, we Look at it. Can we, you guys see the shelves? Shout out to our patrons. You guys are the ones who are really helping us with, yeah. with making the show all around feel better, look Let's better. Let's get us to 100 patrons, guys. Come on now. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smash it. that like button. Imagine... Imagine patients. how the studio would look if you. Yeah. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> we could probably buy. A, we could probably buy a real classroom, guys. Come on. Oh, uh, we could actually. No, oh. we are in a classroom. Please, please, <laughs> give, us, please give us money. Uh, he's that fucking meme where have you seen it? Where it's the oh, emoji who has his hat out and he has like a tooth missing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please give us money. <laughs> but uh, what's up, you guys? So the, uh, since we always record these episodes like a week in advance, uh, for us this is like such recent news. But for you guys, this this is probably subject to change because it literally just happened for us. But uh, this this episode, we're gonna talk about what happened with Trump and the assassination and that that ear that the got clipped. The attempted, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah the attempt, the attempt. My bad, my bad, my bad. You're right, you're The failed assassination, because uh, there's kind of a lot of layers to it. And yeah. uh, if anybody who's been a long time watcher, watcher of us, uh, this kind of shit is like our bread and butter, like. This is kind of insane because it's shit yeah. that matters. Like yeah. it's shit that's gonna affect like our everyday living space. Yeah. Uh. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna have at least a different, probably a few different subjects a in a different in, angles. Yeah. But I, I, I guess this is like a disclaimer. Um. Uh, this is not me trying to glaze Trump <laughs> or be a Trump supporter because that's not who I am. Uh, I'm trying to look at this objectively because I'm in search of the truth. I'm like mm. Neil deGrasse Tyson in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. That in the United States in 2024, we have political violence to the highest degree, yeah. which is which is so fucking insane to me because like this hasn't happened in, in over 40 years. The last time was Reagan. And if you go even further back than that, it hasn't happened in 60 years. So which was Kennedy. Yeah, which is like the world was a very different time back then, and yeah. it was and it was a lot, uh, and it, it's I guess like by comparison, we're equally as in turmoil now than we were back then, mm -hmm. and uh, I, it I could say it's frightening, but it's also just kind of like a lot, like mm -hmm. it's a lot to kind of in, intrigue yourself into mm -hmm. like learning about what the fuck is going on in our nation. Uh, so yeah, that's our little intro. So the I had these talking points. Uh, do you, do you guys have uh, some some talking points? Or are you guys just gonna mention them when when I possibly? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just mention okay. them as yeah. you go. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is obviously the assassination attempt, which is fucking wild. Where were you guys when you guys heard that this guy was about to get his <laughs> head blown off? I was with Julie. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was at home. I was about to go somewhere, and then I checked my phone, and I thought it was like I saw I, at first it said it was on Twitter, and it said like, "Oh, shots fired at the rally." And then I refreshed, and it was like Trump apparently hit, and then it refreshed again, and then you saw blood on his head, and I was like, "Oh shit!" They they almost got his ass. Yeah, well, it didn't become a reality for me until I saw the blood on his head. That yeah. I was like, "Damn, this guy almost got domed." Because I did like I uh, so I, I, so I Judy, can I tell the story? <laughs> what we so were we were doing. at boiling crab. Yeah, <laughs> we were at boiling crab, and then I was literally about to fuck up my food. Right, they gave me that that seafood broil. Like you know how you can't use your hands because that shit gets yeah. messy as fuck. Uh, so I, and then I just see on my Apple watch, literally a group chat that I rarely ever fucking use. This is how I knew it was big news. Yeah. I, this group chat, I really fucking knew my friend hits it up and is like, yo, did you guys see they tried to kill Trump? 
And I was like, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me fact check this. Are you dead ass? Because I, I thought about, do you remember when George Bush, they threw a shoe at him? Oh, it was like, like that. Yeah, I was like, is, is it like that <laughs> they shit? like I was threw like, a rock or something. And then I saw the fucking blood on his, on his, on his face. And I was like, no fucking way, dude. They almost killed this guy. And then I saw the video. The video is fucking insane, bro. Uh, Because like. I don't know. I, I, you wouldn't think that something like this would happen to a politician. Like I said, this isn't me getting political. It's not me being like, my poor Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of like, bro, like, I, I can't believe that all this, all this, like, apparent yeah. fear of, like, oh, the technology is more advanced than ever before. You didn't they, think it was possible in the yeah, modern day. Yeah, I would think, like, they have, like, like energy shields that, like, <laughs> they don't tell the public well, about. What was crazy is they said that they they. Uh, he was already under heightened security because uh, they increased security because apparently there was a threat that they knew about that Iran was plotting to assassinate him, like somebody in the country, Iran. Uh, so they were already expecting something. Yeah. But the shooter was unrelated to that. Mm -hmm. But they already had beefed up security and they're expecting something to go down. And still, that he guy, was that's still that guy who got, got him. Oh. I did. <coughs> Go ahead, well, because I know I've seen the video of the of the other sniper, right? That's also there. That yeah. So is is that always there? Like yeah. Well, they have counter snipers in a bunch of places that could someone could show up. Mm -hmm. Like basically, there was people where the guy was. So uh, where the the guy Thomas Matthew Crooks. Yeah. He climbs up a building, and they told Secret Service and police officers like, "Yo, there's a weird guy over there," and they told them 30 minutes before the first shot, and they were like, "Ah, he's some guy." Um, yeah. But he, the building he climbed on top of also had snipers and cops inside. Mm -hmm. So he was literally right on top of them, uh, which is insane. I didn't, yeah. you know, you wouldn't expect yeah. him to be able to do that. Yeah. So supposedly the head of the Secret Service said that the, because, you know, you, you've seen the picture of the Secret Service, yeah. uh, people on the on the snipe, sniping on the roof. Yeah. yeah. Um, people were like, why weren't there snipers on, on that roof? Mm -hmm. And supposedly, this is actually the, the, yeah. the answer that, that everybody is saying uh, that they said. They said that they didn't put any soldiers there because there was a weird slope. Like, there was, uh, like, a weird slope. So they were like, oh, it's, like, yeah. it's weird to have soldiers there. Like, I don't think anybody could even be up here and, like, get a <laughs> shot. No bullshit. Yeah. That's that's what, I mean, that's the story that people seem to be running it, with. It seems yeah. like a, an uh, incompetence fest. Not that I, like, not that I'm like, oh, they should have. I'm just, more like, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> more like, protect our. I'm our just more like, how, how it just seems very like it sloppy. Just, it just seems more like, yeah. How did that even? How did how, that makes that's insane. Yeah, like, they can't even protect the. Oh, because a lot of people bring up a lot of points. Uh, because people are like, well, you people want to arm teachers and be like protect the kids, but they can't even protect the fucking president, former president, <laughs> but secret service. The best there is, the best uh, security there is, can't even protect them. Yeah, yeah, because you know? that's what I, I remember. I told you when around the time it happened, I texted this guy and I was like, bro, if if a former president, current well, running for president, like isn't protected in the United States. Then what, what little chance do we as citizens have well, to yeah. be protected? Because I think everybody has like this idea of what Secret Service is. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they know more than the average Joe, right? Like they they obviously know how to use a gun. They obviously know whatever. But I think everybody expects them to be like John Wick. Like they, I don't know, <laughs> I, you know. But they, but, <laughs> yeah. but they very obviously well, weren't. Yeah. There uh there there is a. I mean, he got shot. Yeah. And instead of instead of uh, getting him the fuck out of there, he's like, no, 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 wait, wait. And they're like, let oh, me get oh. my shoes. And they're like, OK, you know, do you know what the shoes was about? Yeah. So when the Secret Service tackled him, they tackled him so hard that his shoes <laughs> fell off. Originally, <laughs> originally, I thought I thought that's why his ear was bleeding. I thought they, like, oh, they tackled into him. him. I thought they like bumped into him too hard. Uh, and that's why I was like, uh, because I thought like a sniper getting your ear. What are the chances? Of <laughs> just your ear. You it's know? funny. Yeah. yeah. People on fucking Twitter are like, it's because he's short, so he wears, like, high heel <laughs> shoes <laughs> or some shit like that. <laughs> oh, he wears platforms? Yeah, yeah, but, like, the det the details are but crazy. But, yeah, but I think that part is, is crazy, the part where uh, they're, like, covering him, but they're not really covering him. And but I thought that was also Because people compare like it to when Reagan got shot, where they, oh yeah, they, 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 like they threw him in yeah. the fucking, they threw him in the car, they like, they by his by his neck, and they're just, he was just like, ah, wait, 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 guys, let me. Well, did you hear uh, why they're the, uh, or who they're placing the blame on? Well, they're placing it on a lot of people, but like about that specifically, uh -oh. the Secret Service. Yeah. They're saying that it's because like the head of the Secret Service is a, it, well, this is what the Republicans are saying is because uh is a woman. 
the head of the secret service is a woman have you seen it have you seen it well i've seen that the one that was in front of him was a woman and um (laughs) sorry and so like uh uh the one that's like covering him like from the side in the, the one that's like right in front of yeah, him yeah, yeah, and yeah. she's like really short or yeah. like in in the yeah. image like she looks really short and i kind of was like damn we had to get this bro as women yeah yeah <laughs> it's just uh, it's just a bad image it's just bad luck honestly yeah. about the whole women thing yeah but, I, but yeah. I mean but i mean i don't know they also told the police and just they told them like point blank yo there's a guy right there with gun. well no, okay. for sure the details are insane right yeah uh so let thir- me pull up some more details 30 minutes before everybody was like yo there's a suspicious guy and he was walking around with a ladder and a gun mm-hmm. and when apparently a cop also confronted him on the roof but he pointed the gun uh-huh. at the cop uh-huh. and told him, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to shoot you. Mm-hmm. And still nothing. Like, they couldn't radio in. Like, yo, there's a guy with a gun over yeah, here. Yeah. Nothing. Like, backup or some shit? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, people were also like, how did he, how did he uh, walk around with a ladder? And nobody saw. Like, nobody cared. <laughs> like, it's also, it's like, I don't know. It's like if somebody was climbing the roof right now. I feel like we would hear that. Yeah. If Especially if it was our job to notice. You know, that's crazy to me. Okay, look. This is, uh, someone did a compilation. And it's cool because they even said, like, I'm not really, like, Leaning to yeah, 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 politically affiliated. I'm just pointing out these. So there was there was ten anomalies in in this this act. Mm-hmm. So one of them was no local law enforcement was on the rooftop used by the shooter. Two, when law enforcement was notified by the citizens of the shooter, there was no prompt action at the rooftop at the rooftop to neutralize the shooter. Three, local law enforcement failed to initiate active shooter protocol to protect Trump and the crowd. Four, there was no apparent communication from local law enforcement to the USSSS, Secret Service, to get Trump to a secure location. Five, police snipers on the roof used binoculars to track the shooter's position and did not warn the USS below to get Trump off the stage. That's true. You got, uh, did you hear that uh, apparently the Secret Service knew about him 20 minutes before he, he ever yeah. let his first shot out? Yeah. But, uh, and they didn't let Trump know. No, that's that's what I was saying. Like they, the people informed directly. There was people in the crowd. There's video, like of people from the perspective where they're they're pointing out the guy, and you see him walking around. They're t- they're telling directly the Secret Service, like, "Yo, there's a guy right there," and they're like, "Ah, it's yeah. fine," you know. Yeah, six, police snipers under the scope vision allowed the shooter to get set and shoot six rounds at Trump. Seven, a police sniper got off the scope and looked with the naked eye to be sure the shooter had taken shots and never looked down at Trump. Eight, finally, a police sniper shot Crooks. Nine, uh, no local police went up to the roof immediately after Crooks was shot to take away his gun and check on his status. Ten, all the while, there was no active shooter protocol and no warnings was given to Trump or the audience. Um, I d- so I, I wanted to pose this question. Do you guys think it was incompetence? Bad luck or conspiracy? Um, I, in a lot of cases, I can understand. I, I don't really get the conspiracy train. But in this one, there's so many that I'm like, I, I guess I kind of see the fuel. But personally, I think it's it's incompetence. I think it's, I think these people just, yeah. They just uh, suck. Yeah, I think it's just incompetence personally. Yeah. But Yeah, well, because like, I think uh, people are so easy to, and maybe, I don't know. Maybe this is the CIA pointing their yeah. their brain waves yeah. at me and convincing <laughs> me. The phone. Yeah. yeah, through the phone yeah. and convince me that it's bullshit. But like if I had to be an objective, truly objective on it, um, I would say that I think people forget that at the end of the day, Secret Service, CIA are so humans. Like yeah. like anybody else, like if something happens on the fly, um, they're not necessarily the best to work I, like, I, no, yeah. under I, pressure. I, I genuinely yeah. people think that this the the secret service is like a bunch of john wicks or it's like <laughs> no i think they're just they're just better versions of bodyguards than like i don't know that kaisa not even has you know it's not mm. i don't think they're i don't know you know you what i mean you think they're that or you think they they're not no like you know how when you see like a celebrity who has a bodyguard mm-hmm. and they're just like pushing people out of there i think they're j- basically just that but they have more power mm-hmm. like they can shoot people and shit yeah, yeah. but they're not john wick you know <laughs> Well, it's clearly, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird because it, it generally is just like there there was no alert to it, you know, like alert, like, like I mean, it, after it the feels, shots were fired. Well, yeah, but after after the fact, but it's just like to like. I just feel like isn't that kind of like their job to be alert <laughs> and like be like, oh, it, like not play games, especially like if somebody is saying like, hey, there's a guy, he's a little sus, like you should check it out. You would assume that it's kind of their job to always kind of be on their feet and be like, yeah. take just one little hint at something, you know, like yeah. 
I don't know. I just, I guess in my head, it just doesn't make sense why they well, weren't as like alert. As, I, like, I, I guess I also find, I find it really ironic because, and again, I, it's impossible to not be political in this because yeah. it's a, it's a political like. It happens. It happens. It's a politician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a politician. But they're generally the, the, the side of yeah. the, the, they're generally the side of the, the, the conversation that's very pro gun. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. ah, none of that shit's ever going to happen because we got guns too. And, it did happen, yeah. And like, and like a, a guy died, and two were critically injured, and they almost killed the guy you want to to run the world, you know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I just find it kind of ironic, you know, how they're always like, nah, 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 nah. And I also wonder too if because that's the 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 stratosphere that they're in, that they're kind of desensitized to all that shit. So maybe <laughs> they just saw a guy with a gun, and they're like, I mean, you know, there's hunting land yeah. around here. Like he's probably chilling. You know? yeah. Bro, that's exactly what I yeah. thought. I was like, I was like, I wonder. I wouldn't be surprised if the news comes out that it's because they're like, whoa, this is a Trump rally. So yeah. obviously, a oh, guy's got a gun. gun. Yeah. Like, yeah, Everybody's got and, guns. and we're in Butler, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, they're in Pennsylvania. Are they allowed to carry guns there? You know? I, I think I, so. yeah, I'm I think sure, it's I'm open sure, carry. I, I think they're allowed to carry guns, but I can't imagine they're allowed to carry around the former president. You know, just it, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. And that's a, are, that, yeah. that was the other thing that I was I was kind of gonna get to too, where I was just like, I think it it was just that like they were like, oh, who cares? Like everybody kind of everybody's carries got a gun, gun around yeah. here, man. Yeah, yeah. Or he's probably I protecting think, Trump. Yeah, which is why I'm kind of <laughs> like I think that's where like the alertness could like be like, oh, they weren't. They didn't care. They were like, yeah. oh, like who cares? Well, I, I also I also want to propose that uh, maybe some of the people uh, guarding the former president are like the police, or maybe they're also like they have a little bit of cowardice. Maybe they were uh, scared of engaging this guy. Because, I mean, it's not like that hasn't happened before. Like when there's school shootings, some police don't go in because yeah. they're scared, you know? And that's why I'm kind of like, I think it just seems like a it's festival true. of incompetence, yeah. you know? It's true. The conspiracy yeah. would be that they just want, they also wanted Trump the, to die. No, yeah. The conspira- <laughs> I think the conspiracy is that higher ups were like, nah, this guy's got to go. So let him get as many rounds off as he can. But, yeah. but he didn't. He missed. We'll, he missed. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll get more into conspiracy after yeah. after we get into more of my talking points. Yeah. But uh, my my next talking point was: Have you guys seen the three D model of of Trump yeah, avoiding insane. the shooting? Yeah. Have what you mean? seen it? They it's made like they made they, a three D model. They track his like his head movement, and they also take into account the uh, the, the bullet path of the bullet. So he's like this, like kind of like how I'm at, I'm at the microphone, and it's like perfectly lined up to like like he's like gonna die on target. But at the last second, he goes like that. And it like he just misses it like by a fraction of a second. It just gets his ear. Yeah, it's like yeah. But the the other side, no. Uh, yeah, Wh- whatever, whatever, whatever side, whatever side yeah, he got whatever shot. side. Yeah. But he just goes like that, yeah. and it just barely misses him. Basically, yeah. they made a three D diagram of it, and like it, they even have the side by side of the actual video, and then the they did like the little web yeah. of like three D, mm-hmm. and he he literally just by pure chance out of his own aneurysm. I don't know if he heard like the wind or someone farted <laughs> and he moved his head yeah but he literally moved it at the perfect time to avoid dying it was gonna yeah. be a bullseye it was yeah gonna right. it wasn't gonna be like oh it's great it was gonna be dead center back of the head back Damn. of the skull instant gone yeah because crazy yeah because this is like this is like uh rhetoric i guess going around of like oh how did you miss that shot but the, the, what's crazy is that like no he got a pretty good shot in there it just happened to be that yeah, he just he moved at like the perfect that, yeah. time uh, well, because I bring it up because, like, I, I, what if we have to talk about the what if, like, of, like, bro, what if he had, uh, for, all, for all intents and purposes, purposes, in a parallel universe directly next to ours, yeah. Trump is fucking dead right now. Yeah. And I think, I think had he gotten actually shot a lot, I think it, it would have been pretty crazy. I think uh, if, if, if you think there's conspiracies now, I can only imagine the conspiracy... Yeah. Because he would have become a martyr, you yeah. know, like he would have become like a he's already kind of like a cult figure. Yeah. But imagine, you know, it, it died. just would have been. Yeah. yeah, I think it would have gotten pretty like crazy or like people would have for sure like rioted because yeah. mean, there's already a lot of anger. And like, pe- I mean, already people were like, oh, it was a fucking like liberal or some shit. And <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're I don't know. I think it it, it, it generally would have caused a lot of chaos within there. I know some people would have been like fucking scared, like, yeah. uh, but I think other people would have just been like angry and like, just like, 
I don't know. I would see it for sure seeing like them riot and all that shit. People would uh, blame the Biden administration. Probably. Yeah. People I mean, would think that Joe Biden got his ass murdered. Yeah. Probably people still people think still, it was. Yeah, people probably <laughs> still do. Yeah. But um, for sure, it would have gone on him. Would you guys? Would you guys have been seriously scared if he, if he did get assassinated? Because I, I would be preoccupied yeah. with what the people are gonna do. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, for sure. Yeah. I, I think it. That's the more. That's more the thing that has me a little like uh, a little antsy because I think it's. I don't know. Maybe it never changed, but I think it's crazy that people feel the r- correct course of action is to, or the course of action where they only feel like stuff is going to change is if they start murking uh, uh, politicians and yeah. political figures again, you know? Uh, and I don't mean that in, ter- in terms of like how Fox or whatever is trying to be like, or what happened to our humanity? I don't mean it like that. Or how Joe Biden's I like, just, I'm, yeah. we live in an unprecedented time. This has never happened before, yeah, which is I don't, cap. I don't mean it like <laughs> that. I more mean it like, damn, I guess people just finally are like, man, fuck it. Like, no matter what I do, like, people, they're just, they don't listen to us, you know? Yeah. And that, I think, has me in a... I, I think you know what I, mean? I think it's very much like things are very intense now and I think things just seem like they're you know how we always talk about everything and it, yeah. it always just seems like damn like our society is just like fucking gonna die or something. I get what you mean. But if you watch our pod, we we low key have been predicting this. <laughs> well, We've been calling this I get shit what you for mean. a while. If if you didn't think it was tense before, it's like, well, people are feeling murderous now. Yeah, because so. we're paying attention. Yeah. But I think it's because people are generally like getting frustrated with a lot of yeah. shit that's going on, and especially like the way Trump is acting and has been acting. I think a lot of people are very frustrated. Like the fact that it's, I mean, it kind of came out that he was like Republican or whatever, but. Even a lot of Republicans say that they don't agree with the way Trump is kind of running the party because well, it's, like it's kind a of lot the of Trump party now. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of just the Trump party. And I think it makes sense that kind of both sides are, are angry with him because he's giving mm-hmm. the whole thing like a bad well, like rep. And yeah. it's just like it makes sense if people are very angry about it now because yeah. it's like you've already seen like everything that's been changing with the laws, like everything, the way yeah. people see each other, the way people see like Democrats or Republicans and all that stuff. And it's like, I think people are generally getting frustrated and I think that's where it leads to. Well, it's crazy that it has to lead to this though. Yeah. But well, like the fucking, the detail, the, the, the background of the guy is, I find very crazy. Who, the shooter? Uh, the shooter. Thomas, Thomas Matthew Crooks. Crooks. He, he's a registered Republican, but he donated to Democrats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So people are like, what, what is that yeah. about? And then there's also, they haven't found like any motive. I mean, you can be like, he just doesn't like Trump, you know? Yeah. But I guess in terms of like investigative, whatever, they can't seem to find like a, a discernible reason he did yeah. that. Because I think on his like, they check like all his search history, like nothing. Yeah. They also found like explosives in his car, but they also also didn't find him looking up how to make those explosives. So, so he just knows. <laughs> yeah, that, that's people are like, how the fuck did he just know yeah. how to do that? Yeah. Well, I did research yeah. on him. If you guys yeah. want to know, sure. uh, oh, yeah. no, go ahead. Where you? Well, because I was just gonna be like, I think the whole like because he's Republican and donates to Democrats. I'm like. It's not like if you're just in one political party, that's yeah. all you support. I it's think like you can still equally like support yeah. other things. Because I'm like, there's a lot of things, I think, with each other, like in the Democratic Party and in the Republican Party, where like there's certain things that you agree and disagree to it. Yeah. But that doesn't exclusively mean that because I'm Republican or I'm Democrat, that's the only thing that I only choose to like yeah. be a part of. Yeah. Um. So that th- I think that was one of my things where I was just like, Okay, but yeah. what is that? That does well, I, like I guess what does that mean? I guess yeah. peop- I guess people are more saying it like because uh, you know how everybody was trying to pin it on like, oh, I bet you anything, it's a liberal, you know. Or I bet <laughs> you, a, but liberals I, don't know how to use why, guns. But that's why the <laughs> I know we hate guns. Liberals don't know how to use I, guns. I, I guess I guess the, the <laughs> reason, they hate guns. I guess the reason people are looking into it is more like the motive. They're just, yeah, there's they're no. Just, they're, yeah, they're really just trying to find a reasoning and like someone to blame for Cause, it. Because because the reason the 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 chick who killed or not killed but tried to shoot Reagan, she was part of the Manson family, right? Kitty. I actually Kitty. don't know. Yeah. Yeah, she was part of the Manson family. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's in uh, Once Upon uh, a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Yeah. Her. So there's that. I guess there's usually like 
I don't know. There's like a motive or I, like something. It's still recent, so yeah, you yeah, never yeah, know. You never we could know, find yeah. it by but the time. But he this comes he was out. also in a Black Rock commercial. Like he's in a commercial. So what like, is Black Rock? I, from what I saw, it's like a, an investment company. Like it's a bank. It's kind of like a. You know what? Right, I might as well get into it. But yeah. before, uh, well, I guess we could talk about that after yeah. then. I'll, I'm gonna move to Matthew Chris because that's yeah. what we're on. So for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you do. His name is now infamous forever. The shooter was 20 year old Thomas Matthew Crooks. So both of his parents were actually counselors. Did you know this? Yeah, guidance counselors. Yeah, they were both guidance counselors. And he had his own guidance counselor. Yeah. So he was a kid who was heavily monitored. Yeah. And clearly, if you have three counselors in your life, it probably means there's something up with you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just just logic logically connecting the dots. Mm. So he had a bunch of classmates, but the thing about the classmates' testimony is that they're very contradictory towards each other. So there's two famous ones. There's one that, that is is more like gaining media coverage where he said that uh, Thomas Matthew Crooks was heavily bully- bullied. He was alienated. He was a loner, um, uh, but that he was like this nice kid and that he, he didn't do anything. And then there's this other, I don't, I don't know if you've seen this other one. This is He has this other classmate. He's like this Hispanic kid. Uh, and he talks about how... Um, uh, apparently, like he hated he hated Trump, but he also hated Joe Biden. Oh. He said that he didn't he didn't like either of them. Uh, he said that he would always just be like t- he was super like into politics, and mm-hmm. that like he didn't like any of them. Uh, and he said that the reason he found out was because he's Hispanic, and he was like, oh, you know, I told him once, like, oh, I like Trump, and he was like, but you're Hispanic, like, how can you like Trump? And and uh, and I told him why. I was like, oh, it's because of this, this, and that. And then Thomas was like was like looking at him like are you dumb like that doesn't make any sense uh and and uh he was like he was always his know it all but the way he's talking at least me if i had to give my own perspective uh he's talking as if bro you're probably one of the guys who bullied him like yeah. <laughs> yeah. the way you're talking about him he was like he was a know it all he was a loser yeah like he he, he thought he knew everything he hated yeah. fucking trump and yeah. biden like all yeah. these guys are out here like i was like bro you sound like you're one of the bullies yeah um but people did say that he literally people would tell would say that he was a school shooter kid People well, would call him that. I guess what's interesting is I've heard conflicting from other classmates saying that he was a chill guy, that he kept to himself, but nobody bothered him, really. Mm-hmm. And I also saw that his teachers said the same thing, yeah. that he was a star student, he was a pleasure to have in class, and that they, for, for everything they knew, uh, he was kind of kept to himself, but for the most part, he was a really nice guy. Mm-hmm. And I, I've seen also, like, actual videos of him, like, yeah. you know, like people on Snapchat, where it seems like he's, I don't know, he's like chill. he's having fun, like yeah. with his friends. It kind of seems like because there's one where he's like, "My dick is so big" and whatever, and <laughs> I'm like, "That seems, I don't know. It just seems yeah. like he's a normal kid, you know." Yeah, yeah. yeah to me, it just sounds like the, the one common thing that all these kids say is that he was a loner. So I think as much as people give their testimonies yeah. as though they were classmates, I don't think anybody really knew him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody really hung out with him. Yeah, because there's another video where they are like kind of bullying him. Have you seen uh, that no, one? They're know. like pulling on his pants in class. Uh, yeah. So like he did get bullied. That's a that's a fact. Yeah. Uh, and the second fact is that he was a loner, and I mean that that's kind of hard to really identify who he was as a person, um, but that he was a part of the gun club. Uh, and the weirdest thing was that he, he as you mentioned, he was in a Black Rock commercial. So I'm going to go ahead and read what Black Rock uh, is. Yeah. Uh, so Black Rock is an American multinational investment company founded in 1988. Initially as an enterprise risk management and fixed upon income institu- institutional asset manager, Black Rock is world's largest asset manager with uh, 10 trillion in assets under management as of December 31st, 2023. So it's kind of like a like a firm, like a bank, almost like they're just somebody who owns like a lot of things. So some people pointed out, you know, the buildings that Matthew Crooks was on. Yeah. You know, they're owned by BlackRock. Oh, that's that's a fact. You can look yeah. that up. But people, people, are, I guess, like the anti conspiracy are like, well, BlackRock owns like a lot of things, though, because you heard they they, they have uh, they're trillion. They're well, trillionaires. Well, because I've seen people say because they, they have pictures of like the, the aerial view kind of of where it was and that there is a convenient ladder like people like there's a pl- there's like a ladder I think that he brought um, that gets you onto the roof. But people are like, how would he know that that's there? Like, that's a place to put a like, how would he have known? And mm-hmm. even if he was just kind of walking around with a ladder, yeah, isn't that kind of weird? Like, like because I guess it's he scoped out the scene, by the way. Because I they guess because I guess it's two it's two things. One, he he already knew that that shit was there, mm-hmm. and he was planning this for a good minute. Or two, he was he was he just on the fly showed up and was like, ah, where can I set up? 
And for 30 minutes, he was like, ah, not there, not there, not there. And everybody was like, ah, he's, he's just some guy. Yeah. He's just some you kid. Know? Well, he was 20 years old. Some people, someone said a funny comment that I'll repeat because I thought it was funny. It was like, bro, he was a Republican white man. Like, he basically had an invisibility cloak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, nobody it was like, ah, oh, that nobody, guy's probably not. Nobody thought it was us. That's yeah. true, though. That's true. That yeah, I, I think I it is true. I, think I, I generally I, think that's, that's... I also think it's crazy that he's 20. That, well, yeah. he was yeah. 20. And I was like, damn, he's, he's young. young. Yeah. Like, he's, he's young really kid. young. Yeah. He barely had two years into voting. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, uh, well, I guess I guess one thing I wanted to get I get get into because uh, mm-hmm. we kind of talked about it was how Trump barely avoided it by just some uh, miracle, bro, as the Republicans are calling yeah. it. <laughs> but genuinely, personally, I really hate that narrative. I really can't stand it. That I it's a miracle because I feel like, man, shut up. Like I hate, I hate. Uh, God was looking out. Well, because to me, it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, God, God, God looked. And they're out. very religious, so yeah. <laughs> well, because uh, someone said, someone said. It's like, oh, so the angel didn't protect that fireman who yeah. died? He didn't he didn't protect yeah. the fireman or, or who, fucking or who even who died protecting his, or, his yeah, kid. Yeah, some guy, right? I, he, God protected a pedophile. Damn, he protected a pedophile warmonger. I I racist. well now that you guys say that, I think that's fucking weird in the fact of like it was a fucking firefighter that died. Yeah. And this guy is a fucking um uh, Racist, rapist, felon, racist, felon, fucking criminal. Felon. And to me, like, it's also like, yeah, yeah. I just think it's it's crazy. The fucking world, bro. The fucking world the fucking is world. crazy. Because yeah. I, I, like, I, I, this is not it's like a like, movie, bro. Because I'm not saying like, I'm also not the type to be religious. And I'm not going to be religious yeah. in this point, which is why I'm saying like the fucking world is weird. And it's like, there's like something there where like the world is being like, the matrix they're laughing at us right now because they're like bro a fucking firefighter died yeah and you know like they go they do shit to like save people's lives kind of thing but this guy who's an evil guy who i would say he's an evil guy like he's done a lot of fucked up shit to a lot of people and he's still trying to do that and he's leading a lot of people to continue to be fucked up to other people and i just think he didn't fucking die but other people fucking died I just and I just think that's so crazy that the world, the way the world is. You're like, like God doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, not I, that God doesn't exist, well, but it's just like it's just it. It's like a, it's like a weird like riddle now, where it's just like, what does this fucking mean? Like, what is this? What does existence? Mean? I think <laughs> I think it, I think it's just coincidence. I don't I don't really I don't really care so much if people like wh- whether you believe in God or not. Yeah. But I feel like if you do believe in God and that's your why he your got proof? saved that, that's your why he got saved i feel like your god's a piece of shit yeah because i mean what is it Forty thousand people dead in, in uh palestine, in palestine, palestine yeah. which is the holy land the birthplace oh. of your soul your so-called god with bethlehem is in fucking yeah in palestine oh yeah, right. but the fucking but this one guy but the, the rapist murdering pedophile yeah. yeah oh god like thanks thank you jesus that, yeah. thanks for he's thanks always for, looking out that's yeah fucking, that's you know? what i'm like that shit is just fucking wild to me where i'm just like i don't know and then I, I, well, okay well, well have you heard like, have you heard that trump has a change of heart have really? you heard about it as in no. what uh, it's, uh, it's everybody who's around him uh, is saying that uh, that trump uh apparently he's like a different guy now and and that his son said like well if you look at it like logically he almost died um, he almost died he's yeah. like getting sh- getting shot and knowing that you were about an inch away from dying would change anybody that apparently Trump said in private that he's he's not focusing as much on Republican ideals he's focusing more on uni- unifying the country uh. have you heard about it I I, lo- I fact checked it just to make sure I was like is this true and it's tr- yeah well I mean he hasn't verbally said it. But but, it's a rumor. but the people around him uh, on paper on video his like kids have said it. It's a rumor. Like yeah. That, well, yeah. I mean, his kids have said it. Yeah. But, it's, but it's, some of his kids also haven't been that great. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. But, and then I also with that too, I feel like the religious aspect aside, another narrative that I've seen a lot is a bunch of people uh, giving him all kinds of sympathy. You know, being like, "Oh, what happened to our humanity when we're dancing mm-hmm. on this guy's like bad luck or whatever." I don't know. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Because, uh, again, because people to, have never made fun of people dying before. Right. Yeah. Well, because to me, it's like <laughs> one, he didn't die. He yeah. he lived. And and like, sure, I'm not like I'm sure if that happened to me, of course, I'd be scared. But this fucking guy didn't die. So I yeah. mean, good for whatever. Um, and then this guy also said, like, get over Uvalde. Like he he's he, he's the kind that does that, you know. And then the this same community is always making fun of George Floyd. 
being like, well, criminals get what they deserve. This guy's the fucking apex of a criminal. Yeah. He like I don't I don't understand the mental gymnastics all these people ha- are able to do. He's a pedophile. He's a racist. He's done all kinds of shit. But this guy deserves sympathy. Yeah. But then when it comes to shit like oh like people being locked in cages at the border, oh well they're they were criminals and they're coming in illegally anyways, yeah. you know, or fucking the again like I said the forty thousand innocent people who are dying across. Uh, the ocean. Ah, well, who gives a fuck? Cause yeah. didn't the fucking firefighter say that too? Uh, uh yeah, he said it about Palestine on Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter, and I'm just saying that whole community. I'm kind of like, I don't understand. They've never uh, had sympathy for other people. Yeah, no, they've never showed an ounce of sympathy for anybody else. But their fucking their Jesus figure lives, and they want all kinds of sympathy. Yeah. And I, I don't know. That's not. I don't. I, that's not a whole like. If anything, that's me. That's me calling out the other side too. That fucking yeah. Joe Biden came out and was like, "Oh, well, you know, we gotta, we gotta show him some sympathy." This, I'm like, oh, "Shut up, man!" I think like all those people, even on the other side, the political spectrum, are only saying that because they don't want the same shit to happen to them. Yeah. Because they don't want it to be. They like, don't want to normalize it. Yeah, they don't want to normalize. It. That's the only reason they give a fuck. Yeah. But when it comes to anybody else who's not in their community, they don't give a fucking rat's ass, you know. Or like even another thing too. These, this, this is the community that took away women's rights that forces like uh, women to give birth to the rape their rapist's baby, yeah. you know, I'm or like, oh, incest. Spin, yeah, you know, spin, or, bro. or they can't get an abortion until the mother. Because I saw this this one woman who was um, protesting that, and she was like, they told her like weeks in advance that her pregnancy was it wasn't gonna oh, it I wasn't saw. come to pr- fruition and it was gonna be a uh, a threat Still to born. her life. Yeah. But they had to wait until she was basically about to die. To die, they couldn't do it in advance. Like you yeah. know, like some like why yeah. do these people all of a sudden like oh please, please show me some sympathy, yeah. have a heart, you know? Ah, which shut is, up. Yeah, which is why like when the whole thing happened, and I know we're probably gonna talk about the picture, but I'm like when that whole thing happened, and I started seeing people post about Trump and be like, oh my god, he's a fucking leader, and like oh my god, like how like amazing and awesome like people that i followed on instagram yeah and i generally was just like well fuck you guys i was yeah. like i generally am like you guys are supporting this guy yeah. and like you and some one of them actually commented that he was gonna vote for trump and that he's always like he's always been like pro trump like he's yeah. always been like i'm I, he's always had my vote and then to think that other people who are like my coworkers and they're fucking like supporting trump after this I'm just like, I think that's just like mad disrespectful to everything else. Yeah. And the fact that they're people of color or I'm just like, bro, how the fuck are you guys supporting this white man who's a fucking racist, who's a fucking like pedophile, like who's a convicted felon? Like, how the fuck do you guys support this guy? And the fact that they were men. I was like, even more. I was well, like, yeah. that shit made me mad because I was like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, this guy isn't a good guy. And yeah, he got shot, which like for for whatever, like reasonings that they are and i'm not wishing like anything bad on anybody but i'm just like i can't have sympathy for the guy that's been harming women uh, like especially and people of color yeah or i'm just like how the fuck do you guys still support this guy like how the fuck can you guys actually like like now say like oh like i i love trump and like this is like so powerful and well because of the picture right oh yeah because he's like yeah, yeah. yeah and i'm just like i i just thought it was just crazy because i'm like i generally can't believe that people are honestly like starting to be on his side no matter what if he has this change of heart i still can't support him because of the past things that he's done yeah because i feel like as to be somebody who's like a fucking like well i'll stop cursing but for somebody to be like a pedophile or like or even like have sexually assaulted women i'm just like i think that's just something that's unforgivable yeah and i'm just like no matter if he changes his heart of like he wants to unite people I just think as the choices that he's made and the things that he's still continuing to do and the figure that he's still continuing to be for a lot of people, I can't support that. Yeah, and then also the the vice president he chose. Do you see the ad he did? No. Mm-hmm. The, the well, he ad, blames Mexicans. He, he's he and this isn't me exaggerating. This is, you can literally look. Yeah, up you his can look at it. You yeah. can watch it where he, he says, yeah. "Do you hate Mexicans?" And he's like, "The left has a lot of titles for us." And he was like. How do I hate Mexicans? Because I just want a secure border. Yeah. He's like, and he says, I lost my mother to the poison coming across the border. You know, yeah. I just don't understand how this guy gets a little ouchy on his ear. And all of a sudden, 
oh my gosh sympathy like yeah. actually he's really cool because I, I just i'm like where's the sympathy for everybody else yeah i feel like if anything it makes all these people look hypocrites just worse yeah like you don't have sympathy for uh well, because like we talked about it last week, those the pedophiles getting beat up, and everybody's like, "Yeah, fuck, fuck those pedophiles." There's one right there, yeah. like you know, there's one right there, and oh, but he gets shot. And mm-hmm. sympathy, guys, or or the the woman who uh, who got assaulted that recently, the one that we talked about, where some guy comes in and assaults her. The and the Dollar Tree, uh, yeah, the jo- the jo- the Dollar Tree guy. And people are like, oh my gosh, this fucking guy talks about s- the same shit. Like I can walk up and do whatever the fuck I want to women. Yeah, and all these things, I just. <sighs> it, uh, I, it, uh, hearing you guys speak it reminds me of that tweet that i saw that was like some of y'all would have voted for hitler if you yeah, saw his it, pictures yeah. well i guess to me it's like i don't think any of these people actually have sympathy i think they just assume that for some reason this makes it like okay yeah what i think is that uh, uh as somebody who likes history i think of it as that there's a lot of incidents that happen as to why people were so easily turned into like trump supporters yeah. because of the, the the incident for one uh joe biden has showed that he is incompetent in of itself yeah and so it kind of pushed people to be indecisive as to who they're going to support in november and uh and and then with trump uh because he didn't really get like a lot of media coverage up yeah. until this point he already seemed like he was winning people over people put him as the favorite as to yeah. winning the election so i think that when the assassination happened and you saw him like willingly stand up and raise his fist and the f- and the picture. I think that that really like was such a shock. I think I think Trump was shocked. Secret Service, as we've clearly defined, were shocked. Yeah. And I think as a nation, uh, we were all shocked to yeah. know that a, a a former president could be assassinated in 2024. I I think that it, at the end of the day, it went down to people kind of primal instincts of being in shock yeah. and seeing that despite the shock, this person who who got shot was able to be defiant and stand up. This isn't me, like I said, glazing him, appreciating him, but this is me explaining as to why I think people felt so uh like like um in in how what's the word like almost seduced. By I, this like yeah. image, I guess I get what you mean. Yeah, because like I I, wa- I wanted to point out the pictures. That picture of him raising his hand and the blood and the American flag, uh, which is upside down, by the way, and a lot of people don't point that out. Which is upside down, by the way. Yeah, I think will be living in infamy for a long, long time. Oh, yeah, because I think that well, the the thing about f- photographs and the thing about pictures is that at the end of the day, they're art and they yeah. touch you. They touch you on your deepest level, and I think that picture touches people on a super deep level that a lot of people don't even know what it is but they know they feel touched and therefore uh, this is the guy who made me feel touched i felt something i felt alive and i and somehow i feel like i can yeah. appreciate this moment and i can appreciate him yeah. and, I, and it, it really does that analogy that tweet i said about like people who would support hitler if they saw the images when they were alive when he was alive um well, cause they I think that's true. I think that's true. That's what that's what propaganda is. Well, but yeah, people are manipulated by the art. And I don't even think it's like a what do you call it? Like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, when, when people do scenario uh, hypothetical, I don't think it's hypothetical because the Nazis did do that. They uh, they hired Hugo Boss and all these things because they understood the fucking they understood monkey brain, bro. They, they, they something under, cool. They, we they well, understood okay. aesthetics, right? Yeah, and, and marketing, I guess. But I I guess I'm just more like I I, I it's surprising that not surprising, but this I think this just exposes a lot of people because i think most people genuinely did fuck with them uh and they in some way in their brain needed a reason to this rationalizes little brain this makes it okay well because i think a lot of people were uh, in some way like afraid to come out as trump yeah. supporters because a lot of there's you know like I bro did you see the it's been all over tiktok and twitter the yeah. that one company the sticker company that like emailed everybody about oh how yeah they, like, i don't want to say their actual name because i don't want to like give them, i don't yeah. want to give them their whatever but if you guys it. have seen it i did see um i don't know if it, have you seen it Mm-mm. no so it's like this company um it's like one of the biggest that, sticker brands yeah, like in the, the united states the thing, cause yeah let me see right. um but uh yeah they like they sent like this email saying basically like uh like I, the the only reason I saw it was because somebody that I follow, an artist, she posted it because she received the email, and it's and it's like uh she they sent this email and they're like hi like whoever like the person is and they're like Donald Trump was shot. 
I don't care what political views are, what your political views are, but the hate for Trump and his supporters has gone too far. People are terrified to admit they support Trump. I've been scared myself. Americans shouldn't live in fear. I support Trump. Many at, at this place do, right? Many uh, also support Biden. The political hate needs to stop. Hopefully this email helps. By the way, this week, and then like they promote whatever. And then I'm like, they're like, I suggest buying one that shows you that shows you support Trump. The more people realize that millions of kind-hearted, compassionate people support Trump, the sooner the hate will end. Awesome people all over the world love Trump. Don't limit your friendship and diminish your happiness by indulging in political hate. Vocalize your support. Stop the hate. And then, yeah. Shut the fuck up. I, I was just what? like, bro, that's fucking crazy. Where, where, where was all? Th- where was all this when in twenty twenty when they killed George Floyd? What you you don't think fucking people of color live in fear? Yeah. Like uh, what a what a what a privileged thing to say. Oh my gosh, we're living in fear. What about fucking it's people? It's an ignorant. What thing about people? What about what about people of color? What about women? You don't think they live in fear? Yeah. It. Uh, what a. What Do you guys? Uh, yeah, this is a, this is a talking point point though. Do you guys generally think people switch sides and people are rocking with Trump now? I don't think they switch sides. I think they've always rocked with Trump, yeah. and this in some way, because I think. I but th- in, you don't think that some people were towards the center and moved towards Trump? Not really. No, I think, you don't I think, think, think so? they were just like like they said, where they were like afraid to to be like canceled or whatever yeah. or lose like stuff. But I think Trump almost dying in their minds makes it okay because they use that like well you shouldn't wish death on anybody well come on now like like let, let, let's bring out a little humanity yeah. we should we should care for our fellow man and the, the sacred the sacredness of life and all this bullshit mm-hmm. and i think in their mind that justifies that makes it okay because because it's one of those things where it's like in a vacuum right like let, let's take trump aside you shouldn't want people to die you shouldn't want people to be hurt or you yeah. shouldn't wish death upon people right trump aside politics aside that that's an objective truth for a yeah. lot of people and i think when they apply that to there it's like there's no way i can be wrong mm-hmm. like i'm on the side that doesn't want people to die mm-hmm. like i'm on the side that doesn't doesn't think you should resort to violence and shooting people to get your point across and it's and that's why i think everybody suddenly thinks they're like so brave or like entitled to say all this shit because i think that's the same thing they do with abortion right where they 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 get to call it i'm pro-life see like uh, how can i be wrong i'm on the side that wants people to live i'm on the side that doesn't want people to die you know but it's it's they're they're missed you you get what i mean yeah 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 you see i would disagree i think that there is a lot of people who are towards the center who move towards trump and the only reason i say that is i think of kendrick's lyric of uh some shit ain't even got to be that deep, I guess. Uh, I think genuinely some people aren't as politically educated as we are, aren't as like researchers as we are, aren't even as logical thinkers as we are. I think some people rarely think of politics, but like so they're, they know that they should contribute in any way, shape or form. And I think that it's very simple to see that this guy was trying to get murked and he survived. So that clearly means whatever force was out there not only wanted him to live, but the, the physical force that's in this earth on the government or whatever conspiracy it is wanted him uh, gone. So that mean that must mean he's the truth. This isn't but what I believe, I, but, but, but I genuinely believe that's what but, a lot of people do believe. But, but I don't. I, this is where I disagree is because I'm like, what center? Like what center on the issues that these people are supporting and presenting is there to be on? Like like and I, I, I feel like people kind of constantly like, well, you know, it's not all the party. But what center? Like, what's the center between a woman have having the right to her own body? What's the center there? Like that, and I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about these people. No, I know. Like, yeah, like, what's I the know. center there? Like, genuinely, it's either you want women to have rights or you want women to not have rights. So genuinely, what's the center there? Yeah. Do, anybody? Do they have an answer? I to mean, that? I and there are people out there though. No, I know that, but that that's why I'm like, but what's the center? I feel like there there isn't a center. I feel like they're just saying like mm-hmm. they're more on the side of like, oh well, I kind of don't agree that with. With mm-hmm. abortion, and they're just trying to be like, well, you know, they're trying to beat around the bush, yeah. you know. Yeah. And the same thing with like uh, gay rights or like the LGBT community and them feeling safe and all these things. What's the center there? Yeah, you know, like genuinely, and like it's like I just don't understand. Like, I think these people just try to pretend like yeah. 
Oh, well, I'm on the center I, of these issues, oh, yeah. both sides, both sides. But they they just don't want to commit to the, to actually saying yeah. what it actually is. Is I don't actually agree with abortion, or I don't actually agree with the LGBT community. Yeah. You know? I, know, I think man. I think it's I just I, I think it's that. just hard to to say that people are I guess were in the center of it because I think now in this day like I think you can't avoid hearing about something I get political. You, like it's black or white. And I think for the most part you can't be like oh like I d- I don't I'm on this side like oh I don't gr- agree with abortion or like I don't agree with the way like Trump is saying these things. But I think people generally hear those things no matter what. No matter if it's on TV, on your phone, or wherever. I think you hear about it. And I think there is sometimes a point where, like, you hear it and you're like, yeah, I don't agree with abortion. But I think nobody openly says it because people are openly aware that some people don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why a lot of people don't talk about it or freely say anything because they know that it's a very touchy subject. And so, like, because it's, I don't know, I think it's very telling when, like, I think it was, what, 2016 when Trump got elected and, like, it, it was very telling of where we were as a as a country where it's like mm-hmm. people are just generally racist. Like people yeah, are still very racist, sure, yeah. which is why Trump won that time because mm-hmm. people were finally having somebody who was they like, oh, we've been, to. he's like been, me. Yeah. We've been silenced. Right. Cause mm-hmm. of the whole like Obama thing. Right. When Obama got elected, it was just like this whole like woke culture and like what you're saying is wrong and all these things. So those people who, who were generally on the opposing side were like, we're not going to say anything. Cause then we get shit on. Right. Which they still do. But it was just like when finally Trump came along, People were like, oh, we finally have somebody who says all of the thoughts that we're all thinking. And that was very telling of where the country was at, which Mm -hmm. is that a lot of people are very much racist Mm -hmm. and very much like on this side of like wanting to still be in the old structure of white America and all these things. Yeah. And I think that's why I can't really, I guess, agree to the point that people, um, were kind of like indecisive. I think I can see that. Like, and I can slightly see that to maybe the people who, who generally don't really care. Like, because mm-hmm. there's people who generally don't care. Like, yeah, for sure. But yeah. I think that's also them living in a very privileged life. Yeah. Of yeah. them not being able to care. For mm-hmm. sure. Um, but I feel like people generally have always had those thoughts. Maybe they've never been open about it because maybe some of them are in the fear of like talking about it. But I think other people generally are just more like fuck like this is looks like like what's going on is just really cool of like what happened yeah and i think a lot of people have always had those thoughts they've yeah. never just have the that yeah. openness to actually say anything yeah i and guess i get what you're saying too because like I, I guess oh sorry well i guess to me it's more like it's not so much that i think people are like doing this active like i don't know i, I don't think it's like an active awareness some people yeah. are doing but i think this idea that there is this mystical center isn't true Mm -hmm. like and i and i and it may be for some issues but i think for a lot of the issues that these people are most vocal about i don't i really don't see like what center they're talking about like when it comes to rights either the people have rights or they don't have rights Mm -hmm. or you're undecided which side you want to be on you know that's why i'm like what center like there's no to me there's no gradient of rights you know there's no gradient on whether or not a woman has autonomy over her body you know and and i guess to me i I think it's it's easier to look at in in retrospect like in retrospect people of color should have rights you know Mm -hmm. like back then everybody was like oh well you know but in the future you can see like what like what center like what are you talking about like i just don't think people yeah, because I was going to say, I think it reminds me of, uh, you know, when uh, people become drug addicts, mm-hmm. this, is an, this is an example. Yeah, so I it seems you. like it's not related, but yeah, it, yeah. it is. Uh, you know, when people become drug addicts and they're like, oh, that makes sense. Like uh, it was probably weed. And that's, that's the first drug they mm-hmm. yeah. they they smoked. But in reality, they were, whatever made them drug addicts was always in them. So in the same vein, uh, somebody who now suddenly, I guess, supports Trump, it was always in them. They were always probably concerned on the inside. Yeah. They were just, like you guys said, indecisive, afraid, unaware, maybe uneducated. But this was the movement that made them like, no, like, now I get it. I know who I am. Yeah. And maybe that's that's the what I'm starting to realize. Not that I'm, like, conservative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm starting to realize that I think a lot of people just had this awakening moment. Yeah. yeah. And where they didn't, it wasn't that they were towards the center, whatever the center is, like you said. 
uh, it's more as like a lot of people just became aware that they'd actually like Trump. Yeah. yeah. Like we actually like this guy and the thought of him almost being gone. Yeah. Oh my God. Like why haven't I been supporting him oh, all this time? No, for sure. Cause I think it, it's like, like how you were saying earlier, it's like monkey brain, lizard brain, where it's like, you see the leader we have now. Right. And all it is, is how weak he is, how he's old. He's sick. He's unfit. He takes naps all the times. Mm. Whatever possibly you, like wh- whatever you whatever your thoughts on sick. Biden are right yeah they I feel like you see this guy and you're like weak but then you see a guy take a bullet get up yeah and exactly take a bullet get up and be like fuck yeah like yeah. this this and that like you know like fuck yeah, yeah like t- it, you, know? <laughs> you know and and I think a lot of people who aren't really looking at the policies don't yeah. really care about yeah. his background don't really care all that much or they just want a leader ha- have who's the pr- physically have, have capable the, have the privilege to be ignorant yeah they're just like oh strong guy or weak guy weak old man yeah. no well they're both old <laughs> yeah strong old man or <laughs> weak, weak old man, man. <laughs> and th- yeah, you know and i think that's obviously strong old man i think okay. that's the thinking you know yeah and yeah i just think i i just keep thinking about when I, again, like the, the people that were like reposting him and in majority were men. Yeah. And I'm just like, damn, that's crazy. Cause it's like, I don't know, I guess in, <clears throat> if I'm honest, when it first happened, I kind of didn't care. Like I, it, Stevie was like mind blown about it yeah. and I was kind of <laughs> just like, okay, whatever. Like that's crazy. Well, I mean, it, it was crazy, but it, it was is. like, but I wasn't like, oh, like overly like analyzing the whole thing. Um, I was just like, I, I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like that shit has never really like happened in a while. And to think that we're now in it, I started more thinking of like, damn, like this happened in our own time. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Um, but then after that I was like, okay. And then I think what shocked me even more was just seeing people who were starting to support him. Yeah. And I was just like, damn. Yeah. I cause I told you, cause I knew it was going to be that yeah, big. Well, that's why I was so like invested. Which in is it. why now, like even more, it was just like the fact that the people who were, well, I mean, majority, like the people that I follow are like people of color. And I was just like, to think that they support this man that doesn't even like, like us. Like, yeah. Like, it's the fact that, like, the his VP said, like... Do you hate Mexicans? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, you guys are fucking Latino and black. Yeah. Like, how the fuck are you guys supporting this guy? I, I, like, think, I, think, I think Trump, like, appeals to, like, a very specific set of people. Mm-hmm. Like, which is, I think, men. And yeah. I think a lot of dudes these days feel like manhood is under attack. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So because I think it was a very masculine. It was a very masculine presenting moment. So everybody, I think a lot of dudes are like, fuck yeah. You know, like I'm tired of, because uh, you know, all the propaganda they run of like, oh, they're making us all paint our nails and like <laughs> uh, yeah. manhood is disappearing. But a guy gets shot on stage and he's but, uh, like, fuck that's you. That's badass, you yeah. know, like, fuck yeah. Like, you know, and I think that's the kind of. You know, I think that's more what people, I don't know, it's sad, but I think that it's a very yeah. shallow reason to support. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. And I also think that, like, that's what I mean by, like, I think, like, some people are ignorant and privileged to where the simple fact of it's a man who got shot and he was like, yeah. fuck you, I'm the, alive. The simple fact I think that, that wins people over. The simple fact that it looked cool. Yeah, like literally. That, yeah, yeah. because, yeah, I mean, our, that's what our elections are. They're just popularity contests. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. It could have been someone else. It could have been uh, an election for a fucking school office at, like, some, some fucking uh, school in, like, South Central. And one of the elects got shot, but he lived. Obviously, that kid, everybody's going to be like, wow, yeah. what a fucking badass. You know, I think, like, if you, if you set apart, like, the politics of it, I think that's what people are, like, so, like in love with it yeah i just i'm like literally I'm, I, I just for me is i'm just more like really he's a pedophile well like, i don't i don't for me it's more of like bro so you're telling me these foreign countries are seeing this and are like it's that fucking easy yeah no like no bullshit like because because i'm telling you there's so many layers to this incident for me like the fact that like a fucking 20 year old a kid a kid that's what just went up there and yeah. shot possibly our future president and and you're telling me these foreign countries who've had almost a hundred years of hatred towards us as a nation they they're seeing this and they're not like wait a minute yeah <laughs> what <laughs> well, so I, it's that easy yeah no for sure and i i, I just think uh, in the totality of it it's kind of for me a little devastating because it's like man like 
that's really it. That's all it takes for people to it is, to dude. turn their back on. Because I, I think it's so ironic, right? Where people are like, what happened to our humanity? Like, how are we going to sit, sit back and, and, and our fellow man gets hurt? But I don't know. A, f- a little, a, f- a nicked ear to me is nothing compared to all the things that I've seen. Skateboarders w- take harder falls. But but to me, it's like it's nothing compared to all the things that women have gone through, that uh, people of color have gone through, that the underprivileged have gone through. Like, damn, bro. Like, I'm sure a lot of these people would pray f- to w- th- that their biggest problem was a nicked ear. Yeah. You know. And to and me, Emmett uh, Till. Bro, there's people who get murdered. Like, there's people who get murdered just because of the color of their skin or, like, the people that they like. Yeah. Like, there's people who generally, like, fucking die. And, like, this guy, like... He's getting glazed. Like, bro, did you guys see... I forgot what event it was. But did you guys see that after Trump was wearing, like, uh, the bandit on his ear? Everybody was wearing it? Yeah, I saw like, that. Yeah. I was like, bro, that's I, fucking it was one of my crazy. Talking points. Well, I was I, like, it's one of my well, talking a lot points. of people were also saying that it's... Because dan- going back to, like, the God thing, where it's, like, people were saying, like, it's dangerous to have, like, somebody that people idolize who now they feel is has a divinity applied to them. Not that Trump, the people think Trump is Jesus. He's immortal. It's but scary, like they, bro. But it's like, scary. But the association that somebody... He was chosen by like God. That, yeah, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. See, like, God ordained this guy. You know, in such a religious country, it, yeah. Such a religious is, party. Yeah, that is pretty scary to have, like, some guy up there that everybody's yeah. like, nah, like, like God, God... God chose him. God chose... Like, I saw it on camera. Like, you saw, how, like, how narrow You saw that, the video? Yeah. Yeah. Or that picture. I had to look up. This is the one oh, that I talked before. Yeah. Yeah, where the bullet in the air. In the air. Have you seen it? Mm-hmm. Where there's a picture it's a, of. It's a picture of him talking like that. And the bullet is in the. They caught it on tape. Like yeah, they caught it on It's going picture. past him. Yeah. 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 I, I did research to see if it was real. It's real. It's a real picture. Yeah. You see the bullet in the in the fucking. Imagine if he had gotten murked. Yeah. He, that, he, they would have had it on fucking 4K, 8K yeah. cameras. I mean, it, I mean, you can see when, who was it? JFK got shot in the car. Uh, like, but like, I guess like to, me, to me too, I guess the, the really devastating part is like, don't these, don't these people like have mothers? Oh, dude, there's so much to talk. Don't these people have mothers, sisters, daughters, and it's enough for you to turn your back on them because you saw him just go like that. Like that, that's really all it took. Like that's all I it generally took. feel every, th- that was the thought that I kept having Every time I kept seeing people like post it, I'm like, so y'all really just hate women? Like y'all really just like who hurt you? Like who generally hurt you? To the because they don't that connect it to, to that. It's because they don't connect to that. That's like, that's what it is. This isn't me defending them, mm-hmm. but I'm saying that's what it is. Is that they don't connect that. They don't. They're not. They're uh, not conscious, intelligent. They're not enough. conscious but, but, about it. But I think to me the the infuriating part is like okay, so you have the capacity for sympathy then, but you just. It, choose like, not to. You it's, just choose. It's, selec- <laughs> it's selective. It, it's selective. It's only unless it's a white dude. Yeah. It's a white man that you're you're like nah like come on yeah, man. have some respect you and know? and people still are out here saying like racism doesn't exist anymore in the United States. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like 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 going back to George Floyd right bro you know how many fucking like like horrendous memes I see making fun of that guy yeah like making fun of how that guy was murdered like on on the side of the road and all the people do is like oh well you know. He was selling cigarettes. Fucking Trump. Like, the amount of shit Trump has done. And he was, but he was, he's actually like, he literally is a criminal. He's, he's, he's convicted. Like, like a warlord. Yeah. He's legit one. And it's, like, the, it's the same people who are always like, release the Epstein documents. Fucking Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton were there, but fucking so. There's literally vi- pictures of him dabbing up Jeffrey <laughs> Epstein, being like, yeah, this is the whole my right. guy. This he could do no wrong. He's like, it's like a, it's like a flip book picture. They're going like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's know? like, hey, who's, who's who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. I, I just, I, I generally think that that's crazy, though, because it's like all the things that we've, it's like talking about like, you know, like gun violence and all these things and the fact that it happened at a fucking Trump rally and like there, no, no one else was like about what they always say about guns. Like nobody yeah. did any of those things that they always are like, yeah. no, it'd be, I'd be fine. Like if I had a gun or like blah, yeah. blah, blah. And it's just like you were in that moment and Three, three people got shot, or four, I guess, with Trump included, and one person died. Yeah, like, yeah. Where's it, Where's the talk about I, the rest of that? It, like, I think the a lot of it is so ironic; it makes me kind of sad. Cause like yeah, like the whole well, gun people thing. say it's like a movie, bro. Yeah, people the, are like, maybe we do live in a matrix. Like the, the houses, the, houses. The happening. whole gun thing, right? Where yeah. everybody's like, oh, like there wouldn't be gun li- violence if we all had guns. They had people there whose sole job it is 
to make sure that that doesn't happen mm -hmm. and it happened yeah. you know and these same people are always like nah we gotta arm our teachers like they'll protect our kids and i'm like but they had trained secret service to the and the police that you guys love so much yeah and they didn't do shit you know i don't i don't understand that well, or people are like yeah. oh how could this happen to the president how could this, how could it happen period like don't it's still still it's not clicking i'm like you're almost there why don't you guys <laughs> like ah I don't know. Uh, I was gonna say that this event really empowered though, like uh, yeah. the I guess call them the right, whatever. Uh, it really empowered them. Have you seen? Uh, they got some girl from Home Depot fired. Really? You didn't see? They they're finally using cancel culture, bro. Have you seen oh, it? The the right. The right, yeah. They're finally using it. They're finally actually like oh they get learning cancel culture. Now? Yeah, that th that they can like cancel. Wait, how they? What uh, what I'll, I'll, I'll read you. I'll read you. I'm surprised you guys haven't heard about it. It was the number one trend. Because I had I'd seen the story, and then it was the number one trend. Uh, hi, Home Depot. It's someone who posted this on Twitter. Hi, Home Depot. Are you aware that your employee people who call for political violence and the assassination of presidents? Any comment? So it's this it's this old lady who's working at Home Depot. She's a cashier. And she she says, like, I don't care that he got shot in the air. Like, I don't care. Like, like I'm, I'm sad that he, he didn't die. Uh, and someone tweeted that. And Home Depot actually responded and said, Hi, this individual's comments don't reflect the Home Depot or our values. We can we can confirm she no longer works at Home Depot. But yeah. yeah, but you see, that's that's the thing I fucking hate about that 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 they get the they do that so much. They get to be called the right, which is fucking ironic. <laughs> when it comes to abortion, they they use the it's pro life so that you can be like, well, you're not on the side of life. And then with this, it's like, how can you wish death on anyone? You know, I ah I don't know. I hate I hate this. Person. Yeah, and then they did the same way to a girl at Subway. Really? Oh, yeah. and then Jack Black did that shit. Oh yeah, and then Jack Black. Did you hear about Jack Black? He had a he, he was having a tour with Tenacious D, his, you know band. his band. Tenacious uh -huh. D. Uh, and he the one other dude, the one other dude the said other guy. he basically the other guy Same said uh, he said like I'm 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 sad that they missed uh, Donald Trump that yeah, they, they didn't that, kill him. And Jack Black literally was like whoa, and he yeah. broke up the band. He, he broke yeah. up the and st and canceled their tour. He, he released. And the, this is what he said. Oh, Wait, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. These were all my talking points. I was like, bro, there's a lot. This this kind of uh. This kind of had a shockwave throughout yeah. the nation. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, no way. Did it get deleted? Or people were like, not you just it? I thought I did. So what? Does but that mean he... Oh, wait. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. He said, I was blindsided, but what was said at the show on Sunday, referencing his partner being like, fuck Trump. I would never condone hate speech or encourage political violence in any form. After much reflection, I no longer feel it appropriate to continue the Tenacious Detour and all future creative plans are on hold. But he's saying, like, he's done he's with his partner. Well, yeah, he's not going to work what with him. What are your, I am grateful to the fans and their supporters. He doesn't want to get canceled by, by, by the Republicans, by the right. Yeah. But so so what are your thoughts of people who are actually, like, coming out and being like, oh, like, um, I don't wish political I, violence I, on I anybody. Think, I think to me, uh, it's like, so, but you do wish violence on on black people you do wish violence on on uh people of color <laughs> right. in general are you leaders no children you do wish children. violence on children, children <laughs> and you do wish violence on women yeah so that's okay it's okay to wish violence on them but you know yeah. politicians come on now have a little yeah, yeah. at least keep it little. straight you know at least like keep it consistent like how yeah. can you say that and then like i'm, I'm i don't know like uh, even small shit you'll be like Man, this guy got my DoorDash order wrong. I'd fuck him up if I saw him. Yeah, you know? like, just keep it consistent. Yeah. You're going to wish violence on a civilian? No, yeah. Cause, well, no, because Jack Black's also a fucking Zionist, too. He signed, yeah. like, that big paper. So I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, but you're cool with wishing violence on, like, innocent yeah. people. The Jack kids. Black fall off? Yeah. Never thought I'd see it. I know. No Never more Kung Fu Panda. Very disappointing. I'm a, I was a big fan. Uh, he represented. He bro, represented both. He, resem he represented both sides, both of, the sides of me, <laughs> and he did it well. But now Damn. he he doesn't represent. No wonder that last movie flopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're coming for. He, oh, we're coming for Jack. He doesn't we're, represent I'm, my heart. I'm coming anymore. for everybody who fucking supports Trump. The the guys who reposted like all that shit. I'm like y'all. It's because y'all don't get bitches. Like <laughs> reposted all that shit. <laughs> With oh, people who have been reposting. Oh, I get you. I get you. I get you. And I'm like, it's because y'all. Nah, yeah. I, I mean, but I thought you were like, talking about Home Depot. But, it, but no. it, it is it is scary. I feel like it is scary. Like, I'm pretty scared. 
Uh, I mean, I mean, I've been scared <laughs> yeah, since but, a while. Because I, I was watching The Boys yesterday, and I'm like, damn, it's a little, little <sighs> too, little too close to home right now, guys. Yeah. Uh, Do you really believe that if Trump had been assassinated, there'd be a civil war? I, I, I think I that's blown out of proportion. I don't think he would get there. I don't know there. about civil war, but I'm telling you, he would have become a martyr. Yeah. And I think, because I, I feel like people aren't a fan of Trump the guy. They're a fan of Trump the, like, the idea. idea. Mm -hmm. And when he, you know, the one in front of the gun list forever, you know? You, you know yeah, you get yeah. what I mean? Where I think if, if he had genuinely gotten... But immortalized? He got immortalized and... I think it would have, it just would have set would us back worse. a trillion years. Did I you, think, yeah. The day after the, I think the attempted assassination was when he chose his vice president, which we've already got into. Yeah. This will be my last, my last topic. Um, but did you hear that the, the vice president talked shit about Trump? Yeah, he said he would never support him. Yeah, he said that he would never support him, that Trump is everything that's wrong with the Republican Party, and that Trump is basically America's Hitler. And Jesus. that, yeah, and that, no, he said I that. I didn't see that. He part. said that. I didn't see that. Part. He actually said that. And that the reason why Trump chose him was because he said that shit. Oh, really? Yeah, that because he wants someone who's actually going to say, like, shit to him. Oh, like. Yeah, because that. that's what I'm saying. People are saying, like, oh, he had a change of heart like or whatever. The, like in The Boys, where Homelander wanted somebody <laughs> to tell him no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, The Boys is really predicting this fucking. Well, Trump, like, Trump really does like people saying no to him. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because did you hear the, the vice president, uh, uh, the, the one that Trump elected? His, his wife is Indian. Yeah, she's a she's a immigrant. Uh, the the, the vi uh, Trump's oh, vice president, the new uh, one. But then also going back, the the vice president thing is a, a great example. You know how everybody's like, why would you wish uh, stuff on a on a, a political figure? They remember they went in and tried to kill the fucking government. Oh yeah, it's like wait, I'll see. Oh, yeah. Remember that's the. the <laughs> did, know, right? did people forget the whole reason he has to choose a new vice president? Because they tried to kill the other guy, they, <laughs> and his vice president was like, "I'm not gonna come work with you again." I'm not gonna come back. You got you tried to, to kill me. You tried to kill me. You know, so I'm literally like, what? What's? I don't yeah. know. Well, 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 what's crazy too is that uh, I've seen because I guess because uh, since I've been doing research on this, I've been saving posts. Yeah. Uh, I've been on Republican side of Twitter, yeah. and they hate the fucking vice president uh, Donald Trump uh, chose. Oh, really? Yeah, because they say that it, in the most racist way possible. They hate that his wife is Indian. Really? Yeah, and because they have a kid together, and he's a biracial kid. He's he's half white, half half Indian, and they're like they're like he's never gonna actually do the immigration services, which is why I'm like I'm s th this episode by the time it airs, it'll be outdated. But I wonder a year from now what the repercussions of this incident is. And I think that's why that's the main reason. I wasn't so, like, alert by th this incident because I thought, like, oh, my poor baby Trump. <laughs> it was more of, like, I know this is going to have shockwaves that I don't e I can't even fully process, but I can, you know, speculate I think what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, everybody was saying this is going to be an A-push DBQ <laughs> in 20 years. Yeah, It's That's just shockwaves. That, that and I image, felt it. for sure. Yeah. And I felt it. The incident, I think, in general. Oh, the image, yeah. The image will the be image DBQ. The image will be on the yeah. Yeah. DBQ. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Is this is going to be shock. It's like I felt it, you know, at the epicenter. I'm like, I don't even know what damage this is going to do farther down. Yeah. I but as I was like, I was like there, there when we talked about it, we were like, there's, there's the reality of him actually like dying. Yeah. And I thought that was mind blowing me. Cause I was like, damn, like shit would have for sure been different. And Chaos. shit is different now. Yeah. Even like he, and he missed yeah. the bullet. You know, you know what though? I, I, I feel like for me, it's like, I, I always was like, I don't think I can't, I can't see how much more crazy the, the world <laughs> the, po the political atmosphere could be like i thought 2020 was kind of like the apex yeah. uh -huh. i was like ah it's not gonna like but jesus christ bro the 2020s were gonna well, be a crazy well, decade just, to look I, back I, on I, we're I, older I, just, I can't believe they tried to kill the republican guy and then the guy who's a democrat is so old that they're trying to be like bro just step down yeah, he God got damn. covid old yeah. old bro, biden yeah. you saw he gave the guy who interviewed him uh covid <laughs> really? really? The, what, do you know him? His name's Speedy. No. The the, the, the interview that, that I think so. The one that you were like, why is he being interviewed by this fool? Yeah, because I think he he's like in that same hot ones like stratosphere. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joe Biden got COVID and he did a, he did a, a the guy did a video the interview and he's like he's like calling he's like so am I the first guy to to get uh, contaminated by like the president because he's like sick and he was like it wasn't me like I didn't give it and then he was like but how come Joe Biden didn't call me and was like hey man I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy trying to like not get the world on fire, I guess. Uh, yeah, but I also, I also like, I don't know. I fucking, I, I, I think it also highlighted how much I also hate Joe Biden and the Democrats too. I feel like I, I'm so surprised that they're all like, 
Oh please! They're hypocrites. Yeah, please. They're fucking I think hypocrites. I think you hit like. it. You hit the nail on the head when you were like, they're only doing that because they don't want suddenly some kid from yeah, the U.S. to be like, idea. hey. But because I mean, the fucking Th- Thomas wait. Matthew Crooks, they they did yeah. some research on him and they they were like, he he, uh, he was looking at like a uh, Biden like campaigns and shit. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. So wait, he was he was trying to do wait, both. So you, so you guys are mm-hmm. saying that they they're speaking out because. I, I think there's that obviously Joe Biden and all these Democrats are being like, or they're uh, they're saying like, oh well you know we don't believe in violence. There's no place in America for political violence. I don't think they give a fucking rat's ass. Honestly, I they think probably were low key happy this fool almost I, got murdered. I think the only reason they're saying that is because they don't want to to like embolden people like that to be like, hey, like. If they could do that to this guy, I could do it to that yeah, guy. Why too. don't we keep the same energy to you guys? I think too. I think all politicians in general kind of are like, oh, like if Trump's not safe and he's the guy they love the most, mm-hmm. like I guess to me that not only was it like you wouldn't expect the former president, but because Trump seems to be so tight with that those type of people, you wouldn't expect they'd go after him. And I think now everybody's like, oh, so no one's really safe. So I think them saying that is like, hey, man, like, let's chill out. Let's not get all these people riled up about yeah. about, you know, uh, putting us in a scope. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Do you get what he's saying? Nobody's safe, bro. Yeah. Nobody's what? safe and politicians still wash it's, their it's, backs. It's, it's like basically <laughs> it's basically they didn't want to say that uh, I'm glad they didn't want to pray on Trump's downfall, because if they did, then maybe a shooter would think, well, I'm going to shoot you guys, too, because you guys are right. We should just shoot these politicians. Mm-hmm. They're only showing sympathy because they're saving their own backs. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. They are th- the only reason Democrats are showing fucking sympathy towards Trump yeah. is because they don't want some random guy to come up and be like, I'm going to shoot you guys yeah. too. No. Yeah. Well, well, I had seen, uh, what was it, that uh, that people were like, oh, that um, people are going to start speaking out about this, but yet they don't speak about Palestine. And oh, like well, that's but happening. And that's exactly the point. Like th- th- this guy's like, oh, there's no place for violence in America, but he's funding the death of 40,000 people. He's mm-hmm. he's funding a genocide. Yeah. But ah, uh, like, come on, man. America's not the we, we don't like yeah, to kill. That's here. Joe Biden. Yeah. Like, that's literally Joe Biden. Yeah. yeah. Genocide Joe, man. That's that's the y- you know, what's crazy is that uh, I, f- I was reading this thing about how like most of America, th- the left and the right uh, that that um. um it's pretty shared that people are against like America supporting Israel and Palestine, but it's kind of insane because obviously the the left, right? If that's what you want to call like I guess us or, or anybody else, we we want it because we understand that well you shouldn't kill innocent civilians. But the right apparently is because they're all anti-Semitic and oh. they they hate fucking like Jewish people. So they're like, why are we giving all this money to a bunch of fucking Jewish people in Israel? Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. So most of America, is, as much as we were against Vietnam, Israel. a lot of America is against Pal- like what, but, what's going on in Palestine. Did, but didn't Trump, uh, don't, isn't that one thing the political spectrum agrees on? <gasps> oh my on? God, bro. The CIA is calling me right now. Mm-hmm. Should I answer live on the show? Do you want to? Let me see. Hello? Tax relief expert. Call me back at 949. No, <laughs> yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was all Joe. He was like, "You're saying too much now." Nah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it is scary though. But I, 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 I do hope. And I'm, I'm just more like, it is coming to a point where I'm just like, who do I vote for, bro? You're like, and it's time like, to go to Mexico. And I'm just like, but like, how do we get out of th- out of this? The rat like, race. how do we get out the always choosing one side and the other, and it always being the same ones? You know? know, like I feel like. I don't know. I am just like, is there no, is there no one that's like better? Is there just like, is it always just going to be like this? Well, isn't that what they say that they do this on purpose? Like most, that's what frustrates me too, is that I, most of these politicians really don't care about, uh, women's rights. They don't, yeah. and not, and I'm not saying that like, they don't care, like, oh, they're neglecting it. They could honestly be fucked whether they get it or not. It's just more like they want people to be fighting over the most basic things yeah. instead of like actual change. Like, because to me, it's like, it's like, how are we going to get to uh, universal health care when we can't even get sex ed? You know, when like we can't how, even get how are we going to get like, uh, are people humans? Yeah. Like, how are we going to get uh, all these things when we're still struggling way down here? You know? yeah. yeah. If we're still like, and, humans. I, and I think that that's what, why people say that they, they do that on purpose. Because it's like they make you, s- it's easier to yeah. fight this than it is to fight 
Yeah. But yeah, whatever. Tinfoil hat, man. Tinfoil hat. I Maybe it's time we started wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think, I think too, like, I just, I hate because it, I, I hate this whole situation because it's not just, I, I don't just hate the, I'm not just angry at, at the Trump people. I'm also angry at the other people too. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people on that side of the spectrum are being like, Oh, uh, like, oh, come on. Like, you know, <laughs> and, and, and uh, see, this is, see how bad that guy is still vote for Biden though. Like, I don't really fuck with that guy either. He, yeah. he, yeah. he's funding a genocide. Yeah. Just cause it, one, one that's, guy's that's what I'm saying. Like, it's hard to like, the fact in like voting, right? But it's just like I generally don't want Trump. Like I don't want that guy in office. Yeah. But it's just like it's hard when the opposing side is another doing, guy who's yeah. like is not doing that their great best either. to yeah. not win you over. And I'm just like in the fact in the fact of that he's funding a whole genocide, and it's just like then how do I how do I decide on who? Because it's like to think that like I basically don't have rights to like things if something were to happen to me. Where I don't really feel protected being here anymore. And I'm just like, and to learn that there's people around me who agree with the guy who basically hates women, people of color, and all these things. It's like, I feel, I feel no safety anywhere. Yeah. And it's just like, to kind of know that and have no choice now, it's just like, Hey, bro, maybe... Where do I go? Maybe it's time, <laughs> what do I do? You, it's time, maybe it's time to go to Mexico, bro. Mexico's when, worse, too. When, like... When when Germany it was getting radicalized by old, uh, a, uh, old a, a Andy over there, old Addy, old mm-hmm. old Andy over there, a lot of people were like, "I see what's happening. I'm but dipping," I mean, but I and mean, they probably made the best choice. I don't know. I feel yeah. like even in Mexico, it's still it's I mean, also the same thing. Hey, it's better yeah. than than I, here, I, bro. I think for me, it's like, where do you even dip to, though? Like genuinely, like, where do you go? Where do you go? Like, I think uh, it sucks because America is the most powerful country on the planet, whether you like it or not. So and it's like feel more protected here. And, and uh, against foreign is it, is it like what do you do? Do you do you keep your enemy close or do you? Well, I mean, we're uh, fucked if we stay because sure. of all the shit we say on here. Yeah, you know. Uh, I just I'll just fake it. I'll just fake sides. Oh, we'll, we'll be like, oh, actually, we were we were forced to say that. <laughs> yeah, it was oh because they are dumb. So I'll say some shit like like oh it's because I had been brainwashed. Yeah, been and then brainwashed. when I came to God. Yeah, like. Oh, I see, realized. Look, I got, it's yeah, a, I wore it the whole time because yeah. I I was always proud of. Yeah. of um, I was just scared. Yeah, I, I, was, I was just. Scared. I did anything for money. <laughs> but what God found me, yeah. you know, the greed, the yeah. greed left my soul. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. Um, it felt like a, this is exactly what I wanted to. I wanted to air out my frustrations. Do you guys have anything left to say? No. I'm mad, and y'all some dumb people. If you really, I'm Trump. a little scared. <laughs> I'm, a I'm, a, I'm a little scared. Uh, the y'all got little brain if you support Trump, and uh, you guys are the biggest embarrassment to America. Uh, what I'll say is, uh, be careful for the amount of disinformation that will be out there, just logically. Yeah. Uh, two, um, when the tough, when it, what is it? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Uh, just always be. Yeah, be alert, be ready as, as a for, and I don't mean that in a fear mongering way, and I don't mean that in in a paranoid way. I mean that in the way of like, I never thought an assassination attempt would would happen in the United States in our modern era, but the last one that that was successful that I could think about was in the '60s with JFK, and obviously a lot of uh, rough years ago. times. Yeah, a lot of rough times uh, past that, but we all hear about the stories of our grandfathers, of like our grandparents who were tough. And they made it through and they, they just made the right decision. Some people did better decisions than others. Just be ready to make good and hard decisions. I and that's possible. It's totally possible. There's a lot of hope. Don't like don't be intimidated by the grayness of the world. People can live, you can live, uh, you can protect yourself, you can protect others. Uh and I think that like it's easy to be afraid. Um, but courage will always trump uh, fear. Trump? Uh, Damn. why'd yeah. you say that <laughs> they, they wait actually him. no is it kind of like is, is it kind of nice because like i'm like courage they got, they got, they got, they got his ass he's like, in, oh he's like in the, it's like in the boys where where she reveals herself to be a shapeshifter <laughs> <laughs> oh, i start peeling off my skin yeah, that, that's you i'm like a lizard under nah yeah i don't know i think i think i think you should you not in a fear-mongering way but I think you should be worried because I think that hopefully that leads you guys, everybody to take action, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I agree. Ex- yeah. You know? yeah. And that, so I think it's just about channeling that fear in a good way. 
Yeah. Yeah. Don't panic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't panic. I feel like don't panic. <laughs> I feel like it it really is like we we just can't give up right now. Yeah. Like I think it's it's even more yeah. that we have to be yeah. aware of what's going on. Yeah. But Go uh, ahead. Shout out to our Patreons, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shout out to you, El Jiri Chicano, Angel Zamaron, Eli Quintero, Sarah without an H, Stephen Carbajal, and Carla Corazon. Your patronage is always appreciated. And yeah. then we also got another one. Oh, we did. Oh, what's his name? Does, does he need or a her name? Do they need a my hand? Phone, my phone. Do their name. Uh, their name. name. You're right, Julian. Uh, well, they just put El Verdugo de Pasadena. Shout out to you. So Why? Shout out to you. Do they so. need a hand? No. Okay. Just shout out. Just shout, shout out, out to them. But, but if we you got want a new one. one, so if what's you, his, yeah. what's, what's if you name? want, if what's you want, uh, say their name. El, El Verdugo de Pasadena. Yeah. Like El Verdugo Street. Verdugo. I think Vergudo, right? Vergudo. 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 Okay. Shout we'll out get to your El. name right next yeah. <laughs> next yeah. episode. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so but sorry. We just, we Please just don't wanted cancel. to give you a shout out because you just became our new Patreon. So yeah. yeah. Thank you, you know? so much. For We're gonna keep us. upgrading. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, uh, we don't get sniped uh, by the time you see us next yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we we'll probably won't. We'll be fine. Hopefully, all the crazy shit relaxes. Uh, yeah. And then we'll talk about silly stuff silly. like silly geese. I don't know. Hopefully, like hopefully Bi- Joe Biden doesn't come out and he's like, "I'm a soup" or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like the point. Yeah. yeah, it'll be okay, guys. Yeah. Everything's cool. Oh, all right. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.